I asked for recommendations on the YouTube community page, and I got some responses. Shout out to KG Duransole, I hope I'm saying it right. She recommended Glamazante. I told her I'd react to her. I go to the girl's page. You did not tell me that her vlogs are an hour plus long. Girl, are you crazy? Listen, I said I was gonna react to it, so I'm going to. But we're gonna skim through that because we ain't reacting to a whole hour, no ma'am. Let's see what this girl's up to. Um, the only thing I know about her is that she used to be Lily's friend. She used to be uh, in a relationship with Court. That's all I know. So I'm going into this kind of blind, and I'ma just get to know the girl. Y'all ready? Let's get it. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, girl. So, girl, it is currently 6.43. I got to get out of here like it's 7, at latest 7.10. I'm trying to go get my passport picture. I mean, not passport, my license picture is done today. But I don't know if y'all ever heard of it. Oh, also, it's your girl, Tay, if y'all know. I look crazy now, but I, I'll be What's up, Tay? I'm going to get to know. this new thing called passport makeup. Okay. But low-key, when I was doing the tutorial... I feel like that's kind of how I already do my own makeup, but I was like, am I bugging? But we'll see. Girl, I normally be looking crazy and homeless. <laughs> Girl, I look homeless every motherfucking day. Look at me. So, Glamazante, am I saying her name correctly? Is that her, like, real name? Or is that something that she named herself? Like, Glam? Is this why she's doing her makeup? Y'all gotta explain this to me. Comment below. Explain. I need I need more information, please. Thank you. We it's New Year, New 2024, and we doing a content. Also, if y'all want me to release the video of passport makeup, let me know. Cause I will do my best. Girl, you out here making movies? Hour plus long? God damn. Okay, so. Oh my God, we've been recording the whole time. But okay, this is my girl. final look of my hair. It looks good, to be honest, but. You look good, girl. You just know how your hair, be. it can, I don't know. But this is the look I'm going for. So. Listen, ladies, y'all be done the fuck up. You guys put in a lot of effort in your makeup, your hair, your clothing. Y'all women look good, okay? All the work you guys put into it, y'all are doing a good job. At the same time, don't do too much. Cause if you do too much, you gonna scare the fuck out of us the next morning when you ain't got no eyelashes on, your hair is off your head, your makeup is smearing, your clothes are on the floor because you know, you know, probably had a little fun, you know what I'm saying? But my point is, don't go too extreme with it because then it's kind of like false advertising, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you look the complete opposite and I feel like I'm laying next to a stranger, don't make it that extreme. But at the same time, have some fun with it because makeup is an art. So I get it. I get it. All right. It's just my perspective. That's all. Y'all ain't got to agree. We should uh, good. get in the passport picture early. Because one thing about it, the beat was needed. You know, Santa down. And then, <laughs> yo. Okay, so let's go. Gotta go, y'all. Bye. Okay, so y'all, I'm looking at the passport makeup and I feel like it worked because I she must she must edit herself because i've already seen a couple fuck ups in her editing there's some things that he still needs to be chopped out of the video so i really think she does it herself but hey you save yourself money that way but if you got the money girl hire an editor for like you know <laughs> i don't know what the word is i don't know if it's the head y'all tell me because y'all <laughs> hey baby y'all don't see me on an everyday basis like i see myself it's <laughs> that's a can case so it's packed up okay hold on let me focus, 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 focus. This girl got ADHD. Y'all, I'm up at the crack of dawn to get this picture. And I, you know how people be in, a, um, in the driver's spot sometimes when you're super pretty or cute. They're like, oh, you just came in here thinking this, this is a photo shoot. <laughs> I sure did. I was just going to fucking say that. Look at her, y'all. It looks like she's going to the red carpet right now. She's got a whole fur coat. I'm sick of taking bummy photos. When I show y'all my old driver's license photo you gonna be like yuck <laughs> well not even yuck you gonna, let me tell you something i had just woke up i literally think lie. i was in a rush to go somewhere you do not look then bad girl i had my wig barely was on my head i literally had just girl when i say i just tossed that wig on my head i literally like plopped it on it was almost crazy you don't look bad but, so let me get some little b-roll for y'all 
You okay, see that y'all. shit? <laughs> Look at this shit. Look what's happening right now. I did it. It's done. I'm- <laughs> her editing, yo. Like, someone's got to edit for her. I mean, I guess she likes this type of style, maybe. Maybe she knows and understands that she she's leaving these things there on purpose to make it look more natural, I guess. But I ain't feeling it. Say a Georgia resident. A resident. I'm officially a Georgia resident. I got a Georgia license. Can y'all believe it? Uh, so, um, it literally, I just walked Man, in there. these people in these YouTube streets, they're either from L.A. or from Atlanta. There's not that many out there coming from Chicago. That's why y'all got to support me and push me out there. Share my videos. Subscribe. Talk about me. Word of mouth is the best way. Just something simple. I can't. Look at Little Miss Georgia residents. Y'all, they gave me my little. That's cute. Thing. That's a cute photo. I think I did good with my picture. How y'all feel? Yeah. I think it's cute. Because I'm going to tell you, I went to the UPS because I got a printer for labels, but I don't have a printer for like regular printing. And I got these printed. I made these myself on Canva. And basically, this is like, you know, different months. January, February, March. The calendar. All uh-huh. of 2024. All right. And what I'm going to do is basically um, go through and... I'm gonna make me this viral giant TikTok calendar I seen. So print them off. I went to UPS, but honestly, I feel like you could find somewhere cheaper, baby, and do it because that really wasn't that cheap. So explain this that calendar thing. Cheap. I'm curious. Now, what is this? Oh, that's trash. Go. You're just gonna leave us hanging. You're not gonna oh, tell us trash. exactly what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby and get me a poster board. Okay. Some post-it notes. Uh huh and oops post the more post the notes and something to stick my papers on with okay and i'm gonna take these in there too actually so i can see the sizing of them okay so let's get down to business please baby. i want to see princess what you got a g-wagon i'm bad with cars but it looks like a g-wagon or a jeep i, I don't know <laughs> let me see y'all probably like, girl what i'm sorry Honey, I feel like I'm at church. The music. <laughs> Yo, I love that she films in public. Not that many people can do that. You have to be really confident and not give a fuck what people think or what they got to say. You know, especially like when you go into establishments, just assume that it's OK to film. As long as you're pointing it at yourself, just go in there. If it's a private place, they'll let you know to stop filming. But it won't never hurt to just try it first. And people are going to stare. They're going to stare regardless. That's OK. You don't know these people. So why care for their judgment? Life moves on literally five seconds after that. If you guys are vloggers, get the fuck out of the house. I'm tired of seeing you guys in your home and only in your home. I'm getting bored of that type of content. I need you guys to step out, breathe some air. Let me know that you are a human, that you are living life. I was saying, like, I was at Chick-fil-A and y'all know I love me some Chick-fil-A. And somebody was saying last time, it was like, ain't Chick-fil-A racist? I'm like, child, I don't know nothing about that. I mean, I... <laughs> Chick-fil-A, is, it's the top dog. I don't think it's racism, but for sure it was homophobia. So that's why a lot of people in our community try not to buy from Chick-fil-A. I can't say I don't know about it, but I have always had a great experience while I was here. But Well, uh, girl, it's because it's not the local Chick-fil-A. It's not the employees that are working that are homophobic. It's the top dog, this corporate that support homophobic organizations. So you're not going to come across those people because you're coming across regular employees. They ain't got nothing to do with that. So your experience most likely will be good. If I want to eat something, I'm going to eat it. But if I, f- I understand if somebody else don't want to. I do. I totally do. I got a headache, y'all. I have to eat. And I think uh, that's my reasoning for justifying why I got the food. But <laughs> NFL player. Oh, This girl keeps drop dropping y'all. the damn camera. You know, she's very pretty. Is she? I know she's in our community. But is she a lesbian or is she bisexual? Is she pan? Does she not label herself? Comment below, please. Let me know. You'll talk to somebody and they be liking that extra weight on you and it make you not even look at the extra weight no more. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's why I have to be like, let me tune you out real quick. Cause uh, you know we're talking me like, oh, I like your little rose. That's funny I like as this, fuck. I like that. Okay. I do. 
I like meat on my women's bones. Okay, I'm tiny. I don't want another person who's tiny. Why? I already am. I prefer meat. And I'm not gonna lie, I do get them comfortable enough to where they gain more weight, but that's happy weight though. If you happy, what's the problem? <laughs> I prefer it, you guys. I, you know, they're the best cuddlers. They give the best love. They're the funniest. They actually have personality. A lot of these thin women out here looking like Barbies, but they're boring as fuck. I need y'all to make me laugh now. I just made my little 12 week calendar. Okay, this is the calendar that we're speaking I of. Some girl on TikTok named Tori. Okay. But I don't remember her last name. It's that big. So I'm it's just a big ass board. Going. So basically, I know that so far I am going to post every. Girl, you keep dropping oh my that God, camera. My, my precious baby. Y'all probably, girl, you drop us all the time. Nothing. Yes. <laughs> you don't give a fuck about you us. <laughs> we are disposable to you, girl. Um. Oh, it. terrible. Oh. And these nails are breaking anyway. I'm kind of, you know, I know I said originally that I don't like her editing. There's a lot of things that could be chopped out. But like I said, she might be doing this on purpose. And you know what? I'm, I'm kind of feeling it now. Like, I'm kind of actually liking it. She could have easily chopped that off of her dropping us. But the fact that she left it there is like, it makes it, it does make it seem like we're there with her. Like, you know, not everything is perfect, you know? Shit falls. <laughs> what you gonna do? You gonna pick it up. You're not just gonna delete it out of your life, right? Okay, I'm kind of liking it, right? I'm about to take them okay, right Glamazante. I, so I, I was on TikTok and I seen this thing of Lauren and Steph. Do y'all know them as oh, like a gay couple? I've shit. never really even watched them before like that. Okay, so if y'all have been following my videos, my reactions, I've been re I was reacting to Lauren, Steph, and the whole drama, the baby mama drama. I watched I think three videos, and by the fourth video, I knew that shit was fake as fuck. Okay, and I don't react to fake shit. I just don't because that means I have to act and I have to fake my reactions to the point where I have to make you guys believe that I believe it and I just can't do it. Like, I wish I could. I know you guys were engaging into those videos, but I can't fake the funk. And y'all don't want to hear me complain the whole time about how fake that video is. OK, you just I just can't do it. OK, what's your opinion, girl? Let us know what you think about that baby mama drama. Some people out here believe the drama, so... Apparently, like, and this is me skimming. Maybe I don't have all the facts, but this <laughs> is Steph. Right. And Steph and Lauren is like a femme stud couple. And they have a kid together. Like, literally, they had a child together. And they've been together for five years. Yeah, this Apparently girl knows the info. they broke up. <laughs> and they still live in the same house with each other. Look at her promoting and their channel. Steph caught... Lauren, uh, it, it was something that happened with a third person. I guess Lauren been talking to a third person. So she jokingly brought Steph in and try to make it like a they will all be a three-way couple. Which I feel like at the end of the day, if you're going to be a three-way couple, we need to be in a relationship and we need to go meet somebody. Right. You can't like start That's talking a true to somebody statement. and then want to say, oh, we should all talk together. Because then it's like you and this person have a stronger bond than me. Well, me and... Me and my relationship would have a stronger bond because we've been together for five years. But you and this singular person, y'all been dating on the low anyway mm. from what I'm grasping. So you don't want to stop talking to both of us. So you just bring us all together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's some selfish shit. Y'all know it was something like that before yeah. with me too. Because I was like, uh -huh, whatever. This ain't about me. So my thing is. They got a YouTube channel uh -huh. together where they make all their money and they are posting on a channel like talk about each other. So it keeps coming up. So I was like, you know, what? let me just kind of like click in. So the first video is Lauren. No, the, the first video is Steph talking about we broke up. Mm -hmm. We still live together. Mm -hmm. This is the situation that happened. Lauren is now talking to somebody else. But. I feel like that she was sneaking around on the phone with somebody else because she followed the drama. Girl. The same house. And I feel like, you know, it could be different ways. I feel like if me and somebody is in a relationship and we break up, we just need to move out and we both need separate channels because at that point, like stuff can get messy really quick because people have different <laughs> expectations. Like if that person move on before me, I might feel away because we still like are, you know, just got done dating. Or if I start talking to somebody first, they could feel away. So that'll mess up stuff too. You get what I'm saying? 
So yeah, she might believe this shit's true or real. They broke it up, but they still live in the same house together, and I believe they still was doing content together. I don't know if this is fake or not because when I just went to their TikTok, they had just drop, dropped the video together kind of like three days ago. But then the stud was like, "Okay, I'm gonna go take a breather. I'm gonna go to Vegas." <laughs> and clearly, I guess she's with a female down Vegas. Uh... So the film keeps calling her phone like. I love you this. I love that she's giving us the rundown because the way she's telling us is in a gossiping way. And I fucking love that shit. Like, ooh, bitch, tell me what happened. Like, girl, let me tell you. So yesterday, <laughs> that's exactly how she's explaining it. I love it. I can say you on a breather. You taking a breather, but... She makes me excited. How you taking Even a breather? Even though I've already seen all this and I know it's fake, she's making it exciting. Let me see the room. Let me see the room. If you're in there with somebody, let me see the room. Turn the camera. Let me see the room. I done had some people teach me. Once we say we single, you gonna go do you real quick. And I feel like it would make me clutch my pearls. But then I had to get with the program. I'm like, you know what? Kind of like if we is single, we is single. So I feel like it can hurt. But if you don't want the person talking. Even though it might hurt that that person moved on so quickly. Y'all are broken up. They can do that. Let them. Sometimes they're just trying to get over you so they get under someone else. That's all it is. The person that they're fucking with after you don't last because they're rebounds. So let them fuck themselves over, okay? Let them go through all that drama and all that turmoil and all that heartbreak and all those tears with that person because that shit ain't gonna last, okay? Let them do that. After a breakup, y'all take your time. Do some self-care, self-work. You're gonna elevate and you're gonna succeed. And hopefully you make better decisions in your next relationship. But that one over there, let them fail. Let them do their thing. I mean, maybe I don't have all the facts, y'all. So don't don't crucify me. But I just feel like I kind of am more of a person like the stud. Like once we say we single, I kind of just be like, okay, we need to separate it. So, so now they got a YouTube channel together. So the film <laughs> has went and took all the money out of their joint account <laughs> she's really she deep a lot of money into out this of joint account and i guess she put in another account because she's like you're not gonna be all vacant spending our money on another girl exes living together i've never really heard of that being a super successful thing that's my thoughts on that comment below and let me know what y'all think but now um tonight is boss spirit's birthday party i'm supposed to go <laughs> Um, I'm supposed to be going. Y'all know I'm like a stud princess, honey, because everybody I'm going with is a bunch of studs. So I did ask my homegirl if she going to come, but I don't know if she going to flake or not. Because we're going to see. We're going to see because if you flake I'm the me complete opposite. I prefer to hang out with the femmes. I used to have more things in common with the femmes, probably because of my feminine energy and I grew up around sisters. So something that I'm used to and a lot of these studs are very toxic with their mas with their masculinity and I am not about that life. <laughs> Just because I wear these men's clothes does not mean I'm trying to be tough. I'm a little soft, you know, it is what it is. I like to hang out with my feminine women because we all soft together. <laughs> Girl, my little mouthy fussy baby. Look at her doggy. Oh my goodness. Spoiled. And right now I'm just making my calendar, but I am going He's along using my book, The Digital Influence. <laughs> to kind of fill it out because I'm also trying to figure out, I wanted to figure out for my new content strategy for Instagram. Like y'all know when I do books or I do like teachings and telling y'all stuff or how to on YouTube. Here, sit down, get in there. Cause you're gonna get down and then you'll be freezing. Get down, I mean get in there, go. Well, then, if you want to get down, I'm going to help you. I don't want you to jump. There you go. Um, so, I'm trying a new theory out. So, basically, what I'm going to do is now post at least three to four Instagram reels a week. Okay, girl. I'm going She's to on her grind. do at least two photos a week on Instagram. TikTok, I'm trying to post five times a week at minimum. Damn. And then for all my shorts and shorts on YouTube is going to be consistent of all my reels in TikTok. So it's a social media calendar. I like that. It keeps you consistent, which gets people to want to tune in all the time because you're always having something new so for right them. Right now, I'm just kind of good idea. Writing that out, y'all. So basically. Booty. So basically, I'm about to get dressed. I kind of feel like going out, but then I kind of don't. But I'm going to go. I'm just a little tired, I think. 
But I'm gonna go out and have some fun with my friends. Put a little bit of this. Okay, y'all, so I'm finally dressed. I'm stepping out. I'm she out here looking like Wonder Woman. So I got my bodysuit that I got. I from. do not like those shoes or boots, whatever you call them. Girl, you looking like Wonder Woman, no lie. This bodysuit from. The bodysuit looks nice. Pull me, I think. These leggings, I don't remember. And these boots, I had them for years. I don't like them. Like years. And then y'all know I did a two strand twist on my This girl got girl, a so. big ass. It's giving very Nikki <laughs> teeth. She got big thighs too. And I'm that saying this in a cute. good way. And she gave a look. And y'all probably like, girl, why you look so snatched? That's because I pulled my waist trainer on. Because <laughs> I really wanted to eat tonight. Like, <laughs> I want to be wrong. And one bitch was like, that's not my name. I said, okay, oh, bitch. Okay, bitch. Like, damn. You ain't gotta be rude. Okay, ladies. Hi. Oh, it's All right. Cool. I don't get everything. Yes. That's good. They look good together. <laughs> You. you do. It's so little girl, and they don't know what the yeah, hell I'm recording. Will even know you recording. I love you. Me and my friend is sitting in the car, and she don't want to drink her shot. I'm drinking it. You are a lot and a half. Look, y'all, it's no. Cheers. <laughs> Me and Ari. Girl, are you drinking and driving? You about to spill it. You're in the driver's seat behind that wheel, sipping, or did y'all just park at the We've spot? We've been secret friends for a long time. <laughs> But she don't be you guys don't drink and drive from experience i got a mugshot out there okay i'm not afraid to say it from experience don't do it i spent close to ten thousand dollars for that one dui that i have so it's not worth it don't do it and it's not worth killing somebody else or killing yourself I'm telling you she don't respond she, every time i invite her out she don't be coming she don't i'm no surprised more. she here now i said bitch where you gonna go <laughs> i said where you gonna go <laughs> Yes, we finally made it outside. I don't know how I got her at the the homo club because she's not that way. Girl, I think that's them girl black. She's not that way. She ain't gay. <laughs> Where's you over here doing to my people? No. Straight girls love going to the gay club. They love those drag brunches too. Bring them all out. They're curious anyways. You know how many straight girls I fucked with in my 20s? Lots. Lots. That's one here to them. <laughs> oh, yeah. That no, is no, not like flag. that. No, you, <laughs> you trying to flag me. You do it. Uh, no Keep flag. your tongue to your flag. 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 We got to drink these. I'm not going to let you I'm slide. I'm drinking it. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> okay, I'm glad. They are parked at the spot. So. I'm Boom. drinking it. But why is it so smooth? It is. It's so smooth. We're going to be tore up. Yes, because it feels That's like... That's them, girl. Where? That's them. Oh, right there. Mm -hmm. okay, we got to run. She chugged that shit. <laughs> like, we got to go. Okay. Girl, you so ain't drinking, no but I'm going to let you go. If you want to wear your fur and be little Kim, give. <laughs> <laughs> you better not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Should I wear it or not? I feel like if it's, it's giving a peek of ass in the back. Mm -hmm. So it's cute. But if you uh, don't want to wear it, you don't have to. Yeah, it's somewhere yeah. to sit to take it off. Yeah. Okay. Baby. I mean, I know. Girl, leave leave it. Because Glamazante brought it up for a reason. Just leave it in the car. The game. She's trying to, she's trying to do it in a nice way. I got a section, oh, Bookie. Don't out. play us. Because I got low iron. So. <laughs> oh, me too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Each and every Sunday, we want a touche. Touche. Oh, is that a drag bunch? Yes, it's probably um, Everclear. I'm <laughs> Oh, a twerk contest and everything. Goddamn. And those things on those pants make it work even better. Goddamn. Goddamn. Damn, bitch made that money. Hold on, that's the friend that was twerking. Girl, you did your shit. But you ain't shook that. Show that money. Honey, let me 
tell y'all about me and my friend. This girl be having a blast. We made it back. I had a ball. But let me tell you something. Now we all been up since 2, 3 a.m. Because <laughs> that's what's um It's 7 a.m. Girl, not smile at the door. Girl, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, we went out last night and had a ball. And we made it back. But, child, I had a sub in the refrigerator. I had to eat it. But my friend talked about, not you going to eat without me. I said, I have to. Every time I close my eyes, my head starts spinning. So, honey, we made it back. But it was. <laughs> Her peeking out the window. It was a wild night. But you know when I knew it was time to go? <laughs> when me and Riss was dancing and we fell on the floor, I said, let me grab my stuff. <laughs> you don't remember? It be when like we that. When we were dancing? <laughs> brunches be like that, especially the drag brunches. Oh, my God. You get you get out of that place fucked up. Fucked up. All right, y'all. I'm going to end this video here. Listen, I did it. Okay, I reacted to it. And I'm not going to lie to you. I actually like Glamazante. I like her personality. I like her style of editing. And her vlogs are not boring. I fucking loved it. But her vlogs are way too long for me to react to on a regular. Every now and then, I'll pop one out for y'all. All right? All right, you guys. Stay tuned. I got another one coming for y'all. See you in the next video. Peace.